Say, didn't you have enough sleep yet? Who's sleeping? <laughs> Boy, you smell worse than a skunk. Deposit or uh, withdraw? Well, let's uh, deposit lead and withdraw gold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> against my horse before we go in. Well, that'll be sure to get his dander up. <laughs> Sir, can I? You sure can. Uh, uh, I want to make sir. a withdrawal. You got an account? I'm afraid I don't. Then how are you going to withdraw, sir? Just put the cash in the saddlebag. It holds plenty. Sure, but have you got an account? Oh, no, nothing like that. Then you can't withdraw, sir. Uh, that fellow over there is my brother. I believe that you're a client here. Oh, me? The gentleman wants to know if you got an account here. An account of what? You got an account here, or don't you have an account here? Ain't no accounting for a no account, eh? I'm afraid I'm not with you. But the account is. Or at any rate, it will be as soon as you hand it over. We'll start by withdrawing what's in the safe. Do as he says. You see why they made him manager? Because he's nice to the customers. And I reckon you'll get a promotion after this. I gotta sit down. My brother's kind of delicate. He tires easy. No small change, I see. Thanks. Okay. Lie down on the floor like nice little boys, eh? 
I reckon you get tired being on your feet all day, so please lie down and have a nice rest and don't make a move till we've had time to get away. And keep your eyes down, too, including you. Down. Mm -hmm. Now we got an account we can call our own. <laughs> That's how you make a withdrawal. What you're eating, Sheriff? Stories of Trinity? No. <laughs> the list of outlaws. Help! Robbers! Sheriff! Bank robbers! Outlaws! Them two fellas, they just robbed the bank! Hey, you fellas! What is it? Bank robbers! Come on, we may still catch them! Hurry up! Round up a posse! Smells like a tall story to me. How come you let yourself get caught like a jackrabbit in a snare? Now, you don't look that dumb to me, fella. That's where you're wrong, old timer. Because I'm here. And my brother's got off with a loot. Just never mind about your brother, Sonny. He's going to be caught sooner or later so you boys can have a nice family reunion. Only thing you ain't ever gonna see again is that loot, my friend. Listen, this here's the first time I've ever been in the Hooskow. And I'm down near bored to death. How's about a little game of poker, huh? Yeah, sure. You know, I have been doing this here job for donkeys here, so don't try getting up to any tricks now, you hear? I wouldn't dream of it, old timer. Go on. <laughs> hmm. Now, if you figured <laughs> I was going to let you out of your cage to play this game, you're wide of the mark, boy. Think. It's a pity you're locked up in there, because you seem pretty decent to me. Okay, cut. Oh, cat. Now 
get up. Get that bunch of keys. Go on. Open up this door. Damn. Now you see why I let him catch me, but <laughs> Step in. Oh, hold on. I forgot something. <laughs> Sweet dreams, old man. happen again. Thanks, mister. I like you. Give us a drink, Joe. Coming up. I'm sure grateful to you. Drink your drink. What the gal do? Go away. Who gives a damn?
general store. All depends on how much you want to pay. Oh, well, I, I can't afford very much. Ah. Well, this here's a real bargain. Who are you? Oh, it's a real rip. That's no, yours. Very becoming, man. It feels like a mighty fine gun. <laughs> Just take a look at it. Good morning, sir. Goodbye, Franklin. So long, Mr. Jameson. What can I get you? Two boxes of bullets. Right, right away, sir. And these are the best bullets we got. Yeah, and here's wishing you luck, sir. That'll be well, two dollars. So you're laying in supplies, huh? What do you need those for? They're useful for my gun. You a stranger in these parts? Nope. Where are you from? Uh, I just got out of jail. <laughs> you're okay. Gonna stay here long? I don't figure to move on till I make my fortune. Hmm. You think two boxes of cartridges is enough for that? If they ain't, I'll buy some more. What's your name? Pot. My friends call me cheerful, as well as other things. Cheerful? I got a bad weakness for money. And I think with your kind of help, I could satisfy that need. But we got to find some way to take care of the sheriff. My men can do that. Then you're on. Hmm. Well, this is the bank. Right in front's the sheriff's office. And this here's the general store. Now, suppose we blow the safes in the bank and the store at the same time. And in the store, the explosion's bigger. No one will hear the other explosion. It's obvious. They'll make for the store first, while we're all in the bank working. <laughs> now, I've given you the plan. Go on. You supply this, the dynamite, and anyone who's an expert using it. OK. It'll be simple, because I know a man who plays with dynamite. <laughs> of course, he'll take some persuading. You mean the old grave digger. Let's go talk to him. dynamite. Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, I bet he makes them corpses get up and run. And the skeletons jump right out of their hides. Hey there. Come here a minute. Want to talk to you? Sure do, old timer. You're a mean hand with explosives. <laughs> See that slope there? Well, that used to be a mountain till I got to work on it. <laughs> You're just the person we're looking for, old man. Who, me? We have a nice little job for you. You burying someone? No, not yet. Come on along with us. We'll tell you the whole story. Story, eh? Careful kind of whippersnapper, ain't you?
Where have you been? It took me a couple hours to break out of jail. <laughs> What'd you do with the loot? Hmm. <laughs> it's safe. Well, I think maybe I got a job for us. Yeah. And good money for us both. Yeah. And when do we do it? Uh, tonight. Really? Great. Only thing is, we got us two partners. That worries me. So we need them. <laughs> okay? Okay. How about having a drink on the bus? Hey, fellas, come on. After all, how am I supposed to know what them two fellows are up to? I should know better at my age. Oh, well. Now, I hope all you poor souls in heaven will pardon me for using your explosives outside the graveyard. Thanks for the help.
How's about having a little drink with me, sweetheart? I'll have to ask my friend. Hey, you. Cheerful. Here's the safe you gotta blow open all the time, understand? Only you have to do it with just one charge. Just listen to the tune of these explosives. <laughs> <laughs> Zorro would have traded his mark to get what's in this safe. Then there should be plenty for us. <laughs> Oh, I didn't 
ever going to oh. stop. Oh. You would better go and call the sheriff. Oh. 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 Hey, sheriff, they're having an argument in the saloon. Well, let's go. Hold it, everybody. In the name of the law. Oh. You know what I said? I'm the sheriff, damn it. Stop that fight.
This is the place. <laughs> You're a little out of practice, old man. I ain't your age, you know. But when it comes to dynamite, you're the greatest. Yippee! Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good show, eh, boys? Dynamite. Sounds pretty. <laughs> and here's yours. Leave me to walk. Oh, climb on, old man, fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> done it again. Pulled off another one of his clever tricks, as usual. The Black City Bank pays the bill. And the only expense was for them two lazy bums. And that crazy old grave digger. <laughs> <laughs> All we did was have a good time in the saloon. <laughs> Too bad we can't do all our jobs as easy as this one, eh, boys? Yeah. We wouldn't have to run any real risk. Just stage a good fight to earn our money. <laughs> <laughs> hear how much Steve give the old man for helping us? Filthy silver dollar. Reckon he'll go bury it in one of them graves he digs. <laughs> <laughs> but those other two got paid just as well as you boys. Well, they sure ain't gonna have a chance to enjoy it, because we're gonna take it off them. They're just like a couple of little lambs ready for a fleecing. Ah, it was all planned by the boss. I know that. He expected them to go different ways when the job was done. That's why he let them leave. The older one is going to be at Painted Pass tomorrow, early in the morning. And we'll be prepared with a nice surprise, a real welcoming committee to meet him there. I think maybe you ought to make your plans real carefully. You don't want him to escape, do you? You need a foolproof trap. Now, I've had experience ambushing. I'm a real expert. <laughs> Look, I'll show you. Here's a hill, and this is Painted Pass. I figure the best positions are for two of us to hide up here, and three others to cover the far end. That way, you won't have no chance to slip through our fingers. If you agree with me, there ain't nothing to argue about. We just wait until dawn. Whoa! Okay, you three over there. We're heading up the other end. Come on, let's go.
Just one by one! This ain't your lucky day, mister. But if you tell me where your money's hid, I will kill you. <laughs> In our cabin. <laughs> 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 
You're kind of innocent. You believed me, didn't you? <laughs> he believed me. Diga, muchacho. Well, where is your boss, boy? Start talking. It'll be better for both of you. Uh, I think he's resting, senor. In his room upstairs. Buenas noches, amigo. Lobo. It's a surprise for you to see me, huh? Ah, have you forgotten already that I am boss here? Why have you interfered? You think you could get away with it? Oh, but nobody is going to treat me like an idiot. But I didn't treat you like one. You didn't, eh? Huh? I say yes. <laughs> I bet you think you're smart, eh? Huh? <laughs> you bastard. Get dressed, Gringo. Come on, move. Get on your feet. Get up. Get along. Hey there, cheerful. I got bad news for you. Why, what happened? Lobo's got back. He and his gang have gotten a hold of Steve. Hobo? No, Lobo. He's the toughest bandit in the West. He's got everybody real scared. Steve's in a pack of trouble. So he's been caught napping. Taken by surprise. Where? In his bedroom. He was caught napping, as you say. Whereabouts are they now? Lobo took him back to his ranch. Now, 
up, gather all the boys. We're going to pay a visit. You hear that, boys? We're paying a visit. This time, we're going to surprise Lobo. Make this great. This. I think you are more stubborn than my men. Bastard. You're the bastard. This time you have been foolish. Very foolish indeed. I ain't got nothing. Very amusing. I find it very amusing for a gringo. There wasn't any gold in that safe, I told you. bank in Black City. It's one of the richest in the territory. How much you get, Yankee? Damn you. Never fear, my old friend. We shall loosen your tongue. Obvious. I've never been in that type of place, you see. Say, you don't know a fellow called Lobo, do you? I believe he's Mexican. Yeah, Mexican. Someone said he's got a place around here. Take my advice. Forget about this man. Lobo is cruel and he's evil. Why are you looking for him? I kind of have to. It's for a friend, you see. He's not hard to find. But nobody would ever try to. Purposely. I'm telling you for your own sake. Where Lobo is wild, not even the horses will eat the grass.
What can I do for you, gringo? You wish to join our fiesta? I'm looking for a friend. And I heard tell he was around here somewhere. In fact, I understand he's actually your uh, personal guest. Uh, have some more, Yankee. We'll speak about it tomorrow. Where's my friend? Get out of here! Are you the Count of Monte Cristo? I'm afraid Lobo won't be able to say goodbye to you. I took care of that myself, personally. Uh. <laughs> On second thought, you look like the prisoner of Zenda. <laughs> How are you feeling now? So so. The guest treatment, huh? You could call it that. Come on. Hey, wait. Uh. They really smashed me up. You'll be all right. Ray? Thank you. 
Yes, huh? I wonder just what you earned. More than me, maybe. <laughs> and I'll bet you got it all stashed away. <laughs> Never any shortage of clients, especially around these parts. But I see you can cook, too, can't you? And I'm so hungry, I could eat my shoes. No need to. I'm the best cook in the West. <laughs> Wait. Thunderation. Hole in the frying pan. <laughs> Don't matter. I got some leftover soup from yesterday. I made it right after I buried an old friend. It's delicious. Really? Well, I sure hope you buried all of them. Marrow and all. Why don't you have a taste of this? You'll want to know the secret. It was given me years ago by an old engine squaw. You don't say. Give it to you, old timer. Well, it was unrecognizable. I took it off his body for a buried him. Then how did he die? He was shot. It was late at night, so I never even had a good look at the fellows who called me. This belonged to my brother. Yeah, to my brother. Got it. Soup's burning. You're not gonna have any chow tonight. Belong to your brother. I mean, he's dead. I'll raise you ten dollars. Pass. I'll call you. Luck's running against you tonight, Steve. Hmm. Sure ain't running my way. Well, you know what they say. Unlucky in cards, lucky in love. Or business. Or maybe both. Like, for instance, you might get hitched to a rich young widow. <laughs> uh, cut that clowning cheerful. It ain't funny losing all this money. Then you'd better start winning, Bill. Because I ain't about to lose and cry over it. But if and I do, I ain't a sore loser. That's why they call me cheerful. Open. That'll be ten dollars. I'm in. I'll raise you. I'm out. Let's see what you got. <laughs> you know something, Steve? I ain't had such a lucky evening in the coon's age. Well, if you'd stop your stupid chatter, maybe I'd have some of the same. I'll open. I'm out. Two cards. I'll play these. dollars I 
That's too steep for me. 20 bucks a lot of money. Call you. Hey. Hmm? Where'd you find that good luck charm? It's the only souvenir I got of my brother. Why? Where is he now? Full house. Four of a kind. I lost my brother like I lost his hand. Taking chances. Uh, I've had enough of this for now. You never have a chance to get even with Steve. Any strangers come nosing around, shoot them. Right, boss.
<laughs> Didn't you once say you couldn't help being cheerful? Well, say something funny now. Or do you want to save your jokes till you join your brother? Eh? Well? <coughs> Take this here with you. Give it to Ray. <laughs> you know where, don't you? Cheerful. How's it going? How's the best cook in the West doing these days? You're looking fine. Just great. Here's something for you. It might come in handy. I'm leaving. What do I do with it? Can I spend it or do I have to save it? Well, that's up to you, old timer. Adios. You haven't said where you're going or why. So long, old timer. since I took off them boots. Well, I still got ten toes. Get some of this trail dust off. <laughs> the last one is a rotten egg. What a life! I'm rich! I'm rich!
I'm rich! I'm rich! I'm rich! Senor, I admire your horse. I love your gold. <laughs> hey, get off my horse, you fat bastard, you! Leave that gold! I'll wring your fat neck! <laughs> Come here, I dare you! I'll fight you! I'll get you! I'll... I'll track you down wherever you're going! Well, then I'd better get going. Adios! Wait! Wait, let's talk! Wait! Try that on me! I must say, I've come out of it clean, clean's a whistle, that's for sure. <laughs>